G'day, my name's Tom. Welcome to part 4, glial cells. In the nervous system, glial cells exist as supporting cells, and uh, in the central nervous system, neurons account for 10% of the cells, while glial cells account for the rest, they account for 90%. And, um, however, though, uh, they're relatively uh, about equal in volume and that's because the neurons branch out a lot and uh, have a lot of they're, they're just bigger overall so than the glial cells. I'm going to run through some examples here uh, the oligodendrocytes which hopefully you remember from part one are in the CNS and that they provide myelin sheath and um, these can provide up to 40 axons, their myelin sheath. Uh, astrocytes, uh, these are very interesting and they live in the CNS. Uh, they can regulate uh, extracellular fluid. Uh, another thing they can do is stimulate uh, the formation of tight junctions, tight junctions, and tight junctions, um, which we might talk about a bit later in later parts of this series, uh, they help, uh, they basically form the blood brain barrier. Um, also, uh, astrocytes, uh, they guide neurons uh, during development, during embryogenesis. Uh, so they're, they're guiding the neurons to their destination or where they need to go. And also it's thought that uh, they might have, might have uh, neuron-like neuron-like functions Oops. Um, and I, I underline might there because in just, it's uh, in research at the moment uh, no one's 100% sure but they might have neuron-like functions uh, microglia are in the CNS a lot of these are in the CNS so far um, immune functions they're sort of uh, they're sort of like macrophage cells, if you know what they are. Um, we might do uh, some immune system stuff in another series, but uh, they're sort of like macrophage cells. Uh, the uh, epidermal cell, I think it's pronounced. I'm not entirely sure. Um, anyways, they're in the CNS, and they regulate a very important job in regulating. Uh, cerebro spinal spinal fluid um, and lastly last example uh, Schwann cells which are in the PNS the peripheral nervous system and hopefully you remember these from part one and you'll know that they myelinate axons And uh, they do this uh, unlike the oligodendrocytes, which are able to provide uh, myelin sheath for an entire axon, and in fact up to 40 axons. Um, these Schwann cells uh, just do little segments uh, individually, so it's more of a team effort. Okay, this has been part four, glial cells.